Thank you for giving me the opportunity to submit testimony. My name is Christy Williams Wood, and I wear many hats in the developmental disability community. The most important hat that I wear is that of Olivia's mother. Olivia is almost 13 years old, and she's an amazing young lady who happened to be born with Down syndrome. She's successful in many ways and has gone from a child with low tone and a heart defect and many other health issues to a child who is athletic, sarcastic, and popular. She attends middle school in a 15 classroom, and her classroom teacher teaches academics and life skills. She has learned how to take the Metro bus, something I have yet to do, but she assures me she'll teach me how. She also learns cooking skills and simple math. Many of these skills are she's learning now will help her be more independent in the future. My hopes and dreams, along with Olivia's hopes and dreams, include a job in the community, an apartment with minimal supports, and friends. I'm concerned with the way the OPWDD system is changing so rapidly, and I don't know what supports will be available to Olivia when that time comes. Right now, Olivia is in an after-school respite program funded by OPWDD. We were lucky to get into this program. She was on this waiting list for this program since she was nine years old. Um, I put her on the waiting list knowing that when she turned 13, she would age out traditional after-school programs. My hopes and dreams are that... These type of programs will be available for everyone who needs them when their child turns 13. Olivia is unable to stay home alone because she's scared. She's actually called 911 when I was out in the driveway um, talking to somebody once. Um, many families do not have respite programs available to them beca because of their after-school um, school district will not transport them to the programs or there's just none available. I would really like for OPWDD to work closely with the communities, the um, school districts and towns and stuff to develop a program that will include all children, both disabled and non-disabled, as a partnership to help develop, establish friendships. When you dis establish these friendships in this community, it will help down the road because the community is more accepting of people with disabilities. Funds could be used much more effectively by working with the towns and partnerships, and you won't need as much staffing to do it this way. Um, I'm hoping that we can see some changes in the future and that the OPWDD system will tap into the local community resources so that we can have these type of connections. Thank you for allowing me to discuss this important um, need with you today, and I hope to see some changes in the future. Thanks.